Whoa. One second. Okay. So you and I, it doesn't matter. We're both walking on the same ground, the same, the same level playing field. I just did what I think is the most difficult, difficult workout ever created. It's called vertical plyo on the Insanity Asylum program, most forgot what program it was. Up to that point, I thought legs and back on P90X was the most difficult, and this came out, and this is the hardest workout for me personally. It doesn't matter where you're at with your fitness. I just did a workout that I, I feel like I'm a beginner all over again. So you and I, if, if you're struggling with your workout, then you and I are exactly the same. You and I just right there. And um, it's the truth. The workout that I just did is vertical plyo from the Insanity Asylum program. Now granted, if you're just starting out, you're probably not doing that one. But nonetheless, the intensity level has got to be about the same. I couldn't even do all the exercises in this. Some of them I had to cut short, others I had to modify. There was a couple towards the end I couldn't even do, so I just sort of marched in place and maybe did the last couple seconds or whatever. It was bad. Even the warm-up, I came out at least eight or nine times. I could not keep up during the warm-up. So it's a vertical plow from Asylum. Um, this came out about a year and a half ago. It's uh, July of 2012 right now, so that gives you an idea. Up to that point, the most difficult workout for me was legs and back from P90X, and to this day, that workout still makes me sick. But this one, this one takes the cake, no question. The hardest workout so far that I've ever done. But um, I just made, basically wanted to make this video to tell you guys out there that you know, if you're struggling with your workout, if you're just starting, if you're completely out of shape, or you're already in shape and you're kicking it up a notch and you're struggling, we are on the same ground level, you and I. We really are. And um, that's how we're going to relate and help each other make that human connection that we need between each other and in groups and in things like that, that, that connection that we need to see it through, to lift each other up. It doesn't matter if I'm in conceivably better shape than somebody else, or if I'm not in better shape than another person. None of that stuff matters. All that matters is that we're safely bringing it, our own intensity level, to our workout, and we're doing this together. And then overall, we've, we've got the same goal, whether it's to gain weight, lose weight, get better in one way or another. Our, our goal is overall to get better and become our best self possible. My goal is to become the best Tom possible. And it means different things for me than it might mean for you. But your goal is to become the best John possible, or the best Jane possible, or the best Dana possible, or the best whomever. And that's, uh, that's the common connection that all of us are going to have, is we want to be our best selves possible. And um, just keep bringing it to your workouts. Do it safely within your own skill set. Push yourself, but do it safely. And if you have any concerns, consult with your doctor. I do not override any doctor or expert in the field, period. But I will help you, help you just on lay terms as a fellow lay person. We'll make that connection and we'll do this. If you need to be part of a group or need some success buddies because you have a history of not seeing it through or maybe you've had some um, help in the past that didn't follow through with you, let me know. I can connect you. I'm a connector. I can connect you with people that will help you see it through this time to make this time totally different than the last time and make this time count for real for your own fitness and your own goals and whatever your goals mean to you. What's it going to mean when you accomplish your goals? How is that going to change things? How's life, what's life going to be like when you accomplish your goals? That's what you have to ask yourself. And that's the fuel that's going to drive you to do whatever it is that you need to do to succeed. So enough rambling out of me. I'm cooling down now finally. I need to get the benefits of that workout and have me a P90X result and recovery drink. There's no way I'm doing that kind of torture. All that hard work and not getting the full benefits of that workout. And I'm going to sleep really good tonight. And the rest of the day I'm going to eat a really nice big salad with all sorts of colors in it and no dressing. And I'm just going to eat really good and be involved in my group and get really good sleep and drink my Shakeology and uh, my uh, post-workout recovery drink. And then. That's how I get the benefits of all this hard work, and none of it goes to waste. That would be frustrating to work that hard, or for you to work that hard, and you don't get the benefits out of it because you didn't get the sleep, you didn't form the connections with other people that you need, and you didn't get the nutrients in your daily diet and your shakeology and your, your recovery drink. All that stuff plays a part in it, and it's one big puzzle. There's no monotherapy to achieving your health goals. It's the whole enchilada that you need. <sighs> anyway, time for me to get going. Let me know how you're doing. Connect with me. I'll connect you to what you need to succeed. Bye.